You're watching Saving Health, Health and Truth for this time. Hey everyone, David Cook here. You're watching Saving Health. Listen and pay attention. Today, we're not only going to talk to you about the benefits of activated charcoal, but we're also going to teach you how to properly make a charcoal poultice so that it will last throughout the night. You want to take about a tablespoon or two of the charcoal. Once you have it on your spoon, place the spoon in the jar and then just turn it over rather than dropping it because this charcoal is probably the messiest herb that you can deal with and it'll get powder all over the place and it's the toughest thing to get out of your carpet. And you can use olive oil, you can use black seed oil, um, but whatever you do, use oil rather than water. The water will dry the poultice out a lot faster and it will, it will only last for about an hour or two. Whereas if you're using the oil, it'll last you a good six to eight hours and you know will do wonders throughout the night. I've got the castor oil here. You just keep adding more oil until you've got a pudding-like consistency. If it's dripping like this, then it's too watery. You can just take a little bit more powder and add it to the mixture. Remember, place it down in there rather than drop it to avoid from making a mess. It should slide off like a pudding ball. You want to take three layers of paper towel and I suggest and recommend highly that you use the Viva paper towels that are the tight, tight fit or tight cloth. They're very thick. Um, these are probably the best paper towels to use for poultices. Fold two layers and you'll place your charcoal poultice on top of the two layers so that it isn't seeping through the paper towel. Okay. And once we've done that, I'm going to take this third layer and just cover the charcoal like so. Now, normally with any other poultice, you would put it directly on the skin. But again, charcoal being the messiest herb you could probably ever handle, it's good to always lay a third layer of paper towel over the top so that it doesn't stain the skin. Now, yes, eventually you could scrub it off, but it's, uh, it's a lot more difficult to scrub charcoal off than it is to probably scrub anything else off your skin. All right, and so once you've got it covered like so, then you'll just place it in your oven for about a minute. And we normally say 350 degrees, but it doesn't even have to be 350. It just needs to be hot, and then you just apply it over the area. If you're ever bitten by a snake, God forbid, or a spider, you apply a charcoal poultice over the area, and it will draw the poison out. Not only that, anytime a person is suffering from alcohol poisoning, or food poisoning, or the poison that comes from an overdose of medication, Doctors give the patients activated charcoal because it removes poison. In the case of inflammation, this will take inflammation out right away. I mean, I dealt with sprained ankles before, uh, mine particularly, and just placing this over my ankle between the sock, woke up the next morning and, and was able to run and jump again. If you take it internally, just a teaspoon into a cup of water, it helps with inflammation of the stomach, which would get rid of stomach aches and diarrhea and different things of that sort. So charcoal has been a wonderful or natural remedy for ages and no household should be without it. If you are, then you need to get some right away. Uh, this should be in your natural remedies first aid kit at all times. If you want to live a longer and happier life, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Saving Health Network, and don't forget to click the bell. Also, follow me on Facebook at David Chauncey Cook. We've reached our friend limit, so if we haven't accepted your friend request, please don't take it personal. Just follow us. I'm David Cook. Thanks for watching.